Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian here with another tutorial. This tutorial is going to be short and sweet. Uh, I could have released this for a 5 minute Friday, but I decided to release it right away by heavy request on how to do presets in After Effects to just make your lives so much easier. So let's go to get started. I'm going to show you guys really quick how to make presets. Very fast tutorial. Before we dive into After Effects though, there are two things we need to do. I'm actually going to close After Effects here Let's save that. Uh, and I actually want to go to my file explorer or you can go to your finder if you're on a Mac for the purpose of this tutorial We're gonna be doing this on a PC most people that I work with work on PC in the visual effects industry uh, That's not to say uh, Macs don't exist In fact, I use Macs all the time working in Photoshop and After Effects But when you start dealing with heavy-duty projects, you're gonna either be on Linux or PC We'll just go over how this works in PC so for the first time ever, if you've never saved an animation preset before, we want to set this up so that we can save our presets in a folder that are easily accessed by After Effects. So go to local disk, go to your program files, Adobe, open up your folder for Adobe After Effects, go to your support files, and then you want to come down here to presets. Now I've already gone ahead and created a folder with my name on it, and it's called Brian. Uh, you can do the same name or whatever, uh, but I'm going to create another folder here. I'm going to call this in all caps my presets now you notice that it asked me with the administrator shield if i am an administrator so yes i said yes and i did it there so that's going to be very key so we've created a new folder let's jump into after effects so in order to open up after effects what you need to do is you need to come down and hit your after effects icon in my case it's on my taskbar and uh, i'm actually going to come over here and right click instead of click on it right click again I'm going to click run as administrator. Now that's honestly only needed when you want to save your presets out, but you're going to run as administrator. In this case, I'm going to open up tutorial presets. And in this tutorial, we're going to create this effect right here and then we're going to save it. So let's go ahead and create a new text layer and let's just type in text. And this process doesn't necessarily only work for text presets. This is going to work for any animation preset, but uh, obviously I'm just going to do text because it's, it's easy to show. So uh, let's do a simple one. Let's do a scale uh, preset. I'm going to increase the scale like so. Let's even do a tracking preset and let's increase the tracking like so. Come to our range selector. Let's set a keyframe here and a keyframe there. Uh, let's make this even spicier. Let's throw in opacity. Okay, so now what's going to happen is, oops, I messed that up. Now what's going to happen is our text is just going to like fly in like so. And let's go ahead and hit F9. And this works. Let's bring this keyframes over nice and clean. And now let's show this off. So what I want to do is I want to highlight the animator one here come up to animation and let's hit save animation preset now right now I'm on my desktop so I have to actually go dive through all that folder hierarchy come over here to presets and in my my presets folder we come in here and we're gonna call this random text animate on whatever you want to name it whatever you did let's hit save if come up here to my effects and presets if I come over here to animation presets, drop down, right here is my folder, my presets. And there is my random text animate on. Let's see if it actually works. Let's duplicate this. On this layer, I actually want to delete the original animator. So let's delete that. And now let's just add the animator on my text. And there it is. That's a quick and easy way to save your presets to just increase the efficiency of your workflow. Let's say you're a Twitch streamer and you um, have a particular style you like to follow. This is a way where you don't have to animate that style every single time. You could save a preset and it, you know, for the start of your videos that you're going to put on YouTube, for instance, like VODs, as a gamer, you have your presets here and it looks the same and you can brand yourself the same way all the way through. Let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Uh, this is not as artistic as some of my videos tend to be, but I definitely wanted to share this knowledge with you guys. Please leave a like, definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon so you know when new videos go live and I'll see you in the next video.